many materials have been tested for use as dental implants. However, at present, only titanium is unanimously accepted. This metal is capable of integrating into the bone perfectly, due to a feature that other metals do not possess. Our body is designed to reject all foreign elements that invade it. We have several methods to detect them. The first contains the presence of proteins, foreign to our body, that are quickly eliminated. This allows our body to defend itself against bacteria and viruses, although this mechanism is also responsible for the rejection of grafts from other people. The second regards the modifications that metal ion produce in our proteins, triggering a defensive reaction and rejection of the metallic agent. Metals in contact with bodily fluids capture oxygen, oxidize and undergo a process of ionization. This oxidation causes the outermost atomic layer of the metal to suffer changes that alter its junction with the next layer of atoms that are not oxidized. So they detach themselves, leading to the oxidation of the next layer of atoms and repeating the process of ionized metal release. These ions are unstable and to restore stability, they bind to host proteins, creating a metal protein complex that is mistakenly recognized by body as an invading antigen as a bacteria or a virus, triggering the immune system to defend itself against it. Lymphocytes begin to multiply to fight against the supposed invader. In addition to steel, the so-called stainless steel, which also oxidizes, contains 14% nickel, 18% chromium, 2% manganese and 3% molybdenum. Too many ions. Titanium does not do this. Its first layer of atoms oxidizes, but this does not alter its strong binding to the second layer of atoms. They remain stable in position. As a result, no ionized atom is detached, making it invisible to the biological defense systems. Tissues such as bone repair their injuries without perceiving the aggressor and they establish solid bridges with this invisible object. This is a fortunate fact for humans as it allows this metal to be used for numerous medical purposes, one of them being dental implants. Thus the term rejection is erroneous as the body cannot reject something it cannot detect.